Skyscrapers are quickly becoming a symbol of the modernization of the world's biggest cities as we move into the future. Popular skylines such as New York, London, and Dubai are becoming even larger with more and more super tall skyscrapers under construction. London's skyline transformation plan for 2030 is all set to change the city's fate. The British capital already boasts many pioneering buildings located at its center, and over 119 new skyscrapers have been proposed. In today's video, we will shed light on some of the impressive upcoming buildings in London. Number 6. One Undershaft This skyscraper is to be built in London City between 22 and the Gherkin, replacing the 118-meter-high St. Helens Tower. The building is also widely known as the Trellis because of its iconic exoskeleton cross-bracing. The tower was originally intended to rise to 304 meters above the ground, but was eventually reduced to 290 meters due to concerns about nearby flight paths, making it 16 meters shorter than the Shard. The top of the building will contain a two-story observation deck that will be open to the public and may include exhibition spaces of the Museum of London, and the floor just below the observation deck will have a restaurant. The upper level of the observation deck will be located at an altitude of 280 meters, making it the highest observatory in the United Kingdom, surpassing the Shard's 244 meters high observatory. The tower is under construction and is due for completion somewhere in the 2020s. Number 5. Tulip Tower Plans to build a glass observation tower perched 300 meters above London on a slender tulip-shaped tower have been approved. Upon completion, the Tulip Tower is expected to be the second tallest tower in Western Europe, surpassed only by the Shard. Architect Foster and Partners designed the building to look like the petals of a bulbous tulip flower on a thin stem to reach the viewpoint, attractions, and educational center. Internal glass slides and rotating gondolas attached to the three sides of the facade would offer novel views of the city. Sky bridges would run between the observation decks. The tower would also have a bar and restaurant with 360-degree views. It will provide significant benefits to the citizens of London and visitors as a cultural and social landmark with unsurpassed educational resources for future generations. The center would teach national curriculum topics with interactive guides that would teach all visitors about London's history. In the base area next to a pocket park, there would be a two-story entrance pavilion with a roof garden. Photovoltaic cells would generate energy on site, and the tulip would be heated and cooled with less polluting zero combustion energy. The tulip tower is expected to open by 2025. Number 4. 100 Leadenhall Street The City of London Corporation recently approved a skyscraper at 100 Leadenhall in London. Upon completion, the structure will reach a height of 263 meters, making it the third tallest building in London Square Mile. The project includes the demolition of existing residential complexes nearby, which will be replaced by the construction of a 56-story building. Colloquially referred to as Cheese Greeter due to its shape, the building will offer over 102,000 square feet of office space, ground floor retail space, two podium terraces, and a public viewing gallery on the top two floors. The first level of the free public viewing gallery will offer a 360-degree panoramic view over London, while the top floor will offer a view to the south and would accommodate up to 360 guests at a time. Its construction is due to be completed by 2027 and the tower will have a facade of elongated diamond shapes, so it is also called the diamond sometimes. Number 3. 18 Blackfriars Tower Plans for building the Blackfriars skyscrapers at the southern end of London's Blackfriars Bridge have been unveiled. The project site was already approved for a residential tower with 53 floors and an office tower with 34 floors. A year ago, 
The site was bought by current developers Heinz and the National Pension Service of Korea. Foster & Partners was commissioned to revise the plans for the 18 Blackfriars Road site. According to the latest designs, the plot is built with a collection of three brick-clad high-rise buildings. Each structure is graded to create an abundance of green terraces and roofs that reflect the nearby OXO tower. The tallest structure will be an office building with a height of 210 meters. The second tallest will be a 160-meter high residential tower called the Stanford Building, and the third building would reach a height of 100 meters. The Blackfriars skyscraper cluster is grouped around a central square connected to the modernized Christ Church Garden. The idea is aimed to produce half as much carbon during construction. In addition, it will achieve less than half of the energy consumption during operations compared to current benchmarks. Construction of the project will begin as early as next summer and development would be worth £1 billion upon completion. Number 2. The Spire The Spire London is set to be built in West India Key near Canary Wharf and will become the tallest residential tower in Western Europe. In total, the development is planned to have 861 apartments and is expected to cost £800 million to construct. The building was previously to be called Hertzmere House, named after the original building that was demolished to make way for it. In 2014, Chinese real estate developer Greenland Group acquired the site to develop the skyscraper and later changed its name to Spire London. The crown of the building has the shape of three petals inspired by the orchid, a flower that has been cultivated in China for thousands of years. The shape also resembles the contours of the prow and bow, inspired by the maritime history of the site. Construction of the building was targeted for completion in 2021, but as of now, work on the project has been halted. Number 1. Infinity London London would soon be home to a swimming pool that defies the weather. Plans are underway to build the world's first 360-degree infinity pool high up in the frosty English capital. The proposed Infinity London Tower would rise 55 floors above the city, with the upper floors inhabited by an international five-star hotel. But the crowning glory will be a 600,000-liter pool with no visible edges, at least for those splashing around inside. You're probably wondering how people will get in and out. When designing Infinity London, care was taken not to ruin the clean and clear views with ladders and stairs on the outside. Its solution was to allow access with a kind of submarine-inspired, air-locking staircase that rises through the waters. Other interesting features of the design include a transparent floor for visitors to see the floats above them, a built-in wind speed meter to prevent water from entering the streets below, and an innovative heating system that captures hot gas produced by the building's air conditioners to heat the water for the pool. The pool is also equipped with colored lights that give the tower the look of a sparkling gem at night. The walls and bottom of the pool are made of cast acrylic instead of conventional glass. Once built, the pool atop the skyscraper will be the world's first 360-degree infinity pool. What do you think about London's new upcoming skyscrapers? Let us know your opinion in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.